Hey, this is automated a lot, and when an unbounce user sends a form, you can execute some JavaScript. And to implement this, I created a Google Doc. Link is down in the description. And here you have two possibilities. So the first script is to execute your code directly before the form is submitted to unbounce and the lead is saved. And the second JavaScript executes your code directly after the form was submitted to unbounce. So changes you make here won't be reflected in your lead data. So let's start with the first one. Just copy the script on your landing page, create a new JavaScript. Let's call this for. Just paste the script and place maybe for body and tag is okay. And in the form on this example page here, I have a hidden field called user ID. And now let's say when the user clicks the form submit button, we want to create a unique user ID with a JavaScript. And we have a video for that. Link is also down in the description, but the code to create a user ID is this one, which we can just copy. And for that, we need the field name and ID, which is in this case, user ID. So let's go back to the script and paste our JavaScript here. And now we only have to change form field ID to user ID. And now if the form is submitted, the user ID will be generated and saved with the other lead data. So let's click done, save it, and republish. And let's open up the live page and just enter some data here, A, B, amount in dollar, $20, get rigrolled. And this takes us to the thank you page. So here you see, thank you for the $20. And if I go to overview, and to the lead data. You see here our user ID was created and also saved to the lead. But if I go back to the thank you page, we have one problem and that is I selected a pen form data to URL when I redirect it to the thank you page. So in the URL parameters, we have first name, last name, and also the user ID and not just amount, which is the only data point we need for the thank you page. And all this additional data can be conflicting with privacy laws in a lot of jurisdictions. So to solve this, we can use the other script, which fires just after form submission. So copy this, go back to your landing page, create a new JavaScript. Let's call this after, paste the script, and again, place my before body and tag is okay. And now we want to empty the form fields we don't need for our thank you page. So let's click done, go to the form. And here you see I set form confirmation to go to URL. And here I selected a pen form data to URL, which causes all form data to be sent. And what we need are the IDs of the other form fields. So let's go to edit form fields and field name and ID is first underscore name, last underscore name and user ID, which we already know. So let's click done, go back to the JavaScript after, and from the user ID script, we can copy this part to change values from form fields. And for our three form fields, just paste it here three times. And we had form field first underscore name, and the value now should be empty. Then we have last underscore name, again, value empty. And we also have user ID, which we also want to delete. And now again, if I click done, save it and republish, and go back to the live page and reload it and fill in some other data. So let's use C and D and amount $30, get rigrolled. You see again, we get our thank you page, but this time the only URL parameter is amount. But if I go to the lead data, you see all the data was saved. So again, we created a user ID just before the lead data was saved in Unbounce. And this was saved along with the other lead data. And just after saving it, the form fields first name, last name and user ID were deleted. So we don't have them as URL parameters when we redirect to our thank you page. And of course, this isn't limited to manipulating your form data. You can use any JavaScript here. Just make sure it's executed in the right time. So either before form submission or after form submission. Okay, and that's it.
Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you really liked it and want to see more of our content, subscribe to the channel. And if you have questions or feedback, leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you ASAP. See you next time.